Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is my solo themed run of this week's featured Master Nightfall, which is the Fallen Saber. As you can see, I'm doing it on Arc Strider, and the theme for this, which Arc Strider is part of it, is forgotten. These are all weapons and subclasses I feel like have been forgotten when it comes to Master. So we're using the Forward Path, which is an old Iron Banner auto rifle. I'm going to be using the Point of the Stag, which is an Iron Banner bow. If I'd have had the Iron Banner, the, the, the Spear, Shining Spear rocket launcher, we'd have made this uh, an Iron Banner theme. But I went with Darcy. Three weapons, I'm sure you'll agree, don't see a lot of use in Master Nightfalls now. Or in any kind of in-game content. And to kind of go with those, I'm using the Raiden Flux, which I haven't used in, in a piece of content maybe since Destiny 2 Year 1. And I think you're going to be surprised at the outcome here. So uh, all the mods I'm using, as you can see, I'm striking light. I've got uh, powerful friends uh, that gives me plus 20 mobility and the striking distance uh, and, uh, makes me harder to kill when I'm running. We still have 50% uh, acute arc burn. So hence why I went for uh, an arc bow and an arc heavy. So I, I, I kind of pondered on what I was going to use for this nightfall because... Coming to the end of the season, I feel like I've used all the major groups. Uh, we've got one more Nightfall to, to do a featured on, and then I'll maybe do something kind of fun for the last week. Well, last week or two? Two weeks, maybe? One week, one week, I think. So, uh, obviously at the start here, we've got the Warsap. We're going to utilise the... I'm going to basically sit inside the Warsap and get rid of this... Uh, get rid of the Warsap. It just... As you, as you can tell, this is a reasonably, I wouldn't say it's a speed run, obviously, but it's a, it's a reasonably sharpish run. I think it's 23 minutes for the whole thing, which, not too bad. So, while I'm sitting here, I'm just going to quickly mention this. There is a new feature on YouTube called Thanks. So, I know, and the reason I'm bringing this up, I hate to kind of promote it. I'm not very good at self-promotion. But I know there's some people that have been trying to find ways they can support the channel or whatever. The thanks is basically, if anybody wants to support the channel, now you have a chance to do it with with this thanks feature. So you'll see it underneath the video right there. It's like the fourth on the right. So anybody that does want to support the channel, you have a way to do it now. So that's enough on that. I When I was picking the, the subclass, obviously Void 3.0 is really strong this season. So I kind of figured I would give this a little go. And like I've already said, I was shocked. I was really shocked at how good Top Tree, which is the one I always use, uh, Arc Strider was. But what really shocked me was how good the grenade was. Now, I know that they reworked the Flux grenade. And I actually, I think this was like the third time I'd done it. I beat it the, the second time. The first time I had to come out at this part because I was wondering why the auto rifle wasn't doing very well against the overloads. I hadn't upgraded it. It was still 1350. That's why it wasn't doing so well. But... I kind of, in that first run, I had to relearn how to throw the grenade because most grenades, you kind of basketball them. You know, they've got a little kind of arc in, in the throw. The flux is a straight shoot. So you actually, when if you're aiming at an enemy's chest, then you throw the grenade, bang, it's going to hit them clean on. And it does a ton of damage. Now, this is a 1580 activity. Now, I know I'm 1592, but you guys have seen me do some of these nightfalls. You will agree. I'm sure. I'm positive you will agree. The flux messes enemies up. You know the boss overloads. It really does a lot of damage once you've stopped them. So once once we get this to 100, percent and we're going to go up to the rock, which is on the right hand side of us as we are looking now, and then I. It all depends on how the enemies are interacting with me. If the barrier is available, I always try and take the barrier first. Uh, and then that stops the barrier's ability to shield the overloads. So the barrier is available. So we're going to put a couple of bow shots now. Now this point of the stag comes with Vorpal. It came with Vorpal to start with. So it's a very good bow. And you'll see here that Darcy does a fair amount of damage. What you've got to do, Darcy's got a perk called Personal Assistant. So if you let it, it, it makes a little audio noise. If you let it ping, uh, you'll then do more precision damage. So another thing I noticed about Overloads is you'll see this here. 
That, that is an exceptional amount of damage. Now, I know that there's a burn. I know that. But take the burn in or out of consideration, whichever you want to do. Uh, we'll just get a finish on him because I've got Lucent Finisher on. That is a lot of damage. That's, that, that is culpable to about 40% of their health. So I've got a Bomber on. That's why you'll see me. I haven't converted to a, a Hunter main quite yet. Uh, I'm just going to get him down a bit more. You'll see how much the auto rifle really chews through him. And unfortunately, you're always going to have this problem now. You're always going to have this problem where sometimes the overloads just, they don't want to be stopped. And you'll see there, I was i was shooting them with an overload weapon. It's, it's super annoying. So now what I'm going to do is just put a heap of shots on. And then what we want... As you see there, it doesn't matter what I do. Sometimes overloads do this. It doesn't matter what you do. They will just... I'll just teleport for their lives. Now, what I'm going to do is get the get the reload. And now I've got the fire rate back on. You want to kind of stun him here. It kind of goes back on his ankles a little bit. If he does that, he won't regenerate his health. Now, I'll just... You see that red outline? You want to have that red outline over the ad. That tells you you've propped personal assistant. And now you're going to do... I can't remember if it's 20 or 30% more precision damage. Darcy has a crazy fire rate though. So you really have to not fire at the top of its fire rate. Because it, the way the recoil works, you'll be ready to fire before the barrel's back in place. So, you know, if you just temper down on the, the fire, you should be okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to get in here. It's going to be four Exploders. We'll take them down first very quickly. And then we're going to get inside. We're going to, going to take out some more of the ads. I've got my super, but I just want to make sure I get as many of the ads as possible at the same time. So there'll be a couple of exp uh, uh, invisible Marauders. You see right behind us, there should be, yep, another one. And then there'll be two ones coming in behind us very soon. Sometimes some come from, from, from behind, which is why I'm kind of looking. Then you get these invisible, these uh, uh, resilient marauders. So I'm just looking. We're good. Now I'm going to pop my super. And this, this was crazy. Now I know Arc Strider's really good, right? I, I used to use it in year one. What I didn't know was it could do this. So obviously the barrier, easy money. But the overload... Now, the reason why it took the overload down so so quickly is because Top Tree has this uh, thing where uh, if you dodge before you go after them with a super, you create like a lightning field. And the only explanation I can give for why it took down the overloads is it's stunning them with that overload field. And, man, I, I did not expect it to be able to take down two champions without stunning them. So that cleared this whole room. You know, so what we're going to do here is wait till he teleports. Now he's teleported miles away now. So he's over here. We'll get the reload on him. Be careful because there is an arc kind of section that runs through here. We'll get the grenade on him. Get a reload. I mean, that's a massive amount of damage. That's got to be 40, 50%. So now what we'll do is we'll get him, get him reasonably low and then try and get a finisher on him. Just to... Because the Darcy has... A reasonable, reasonable amount of ammunition. But you can burn through it. I think seven in the mag and you can let them off very quickly. So once you clear this room, you're going to do, do the thing with the vent. I'm dodging to try and get a bit of grenade energy back. As I say, I'm not just doing... Well, maybe I'm just doing the hunter thing. So once you get to this part and you break this kind of vent, you're going to get a couple of... Uh, four of these... Uh, Resilient Marauders. Now, I like to get them all killed. And there we go. We've killed three of the Exploders. There are four of them. That's all the Marauders exploded. There are two more Invisors outside, I believe. Might be more than that, but I definitely know there's two. Then there'll be uh, some Sniper Shanks. We'll take them down. That'll leave us with two Overloads. Now, I had a bit more of an issue with the first Overload. Uh... And the reason why I had that issue is you'll see here, I'll explain as soon as you see it. Uh, the grenade never worked here, but that's because of where he stopped. So you see him there. I was thinking if I hit him, he would come out and he didn't. So 
I couldn't actually hit him with anything else. So, but I managed to keep him overloaded. And my plan was here, was get him overloaded and snipe him. Couldn't because his head was completely covered. But I'm committed now. So we want to stop him again. Just see if I was trying to get him to run. So there we go. He's stunned again. I'm going to take, take the chance. Now, if it had been the Ark Champion up there, I wouldn't have done that. But because it's the solar one, I'm not taking that acute damage. So now... We'll just keep him down. We'll do the same thing. Get him low and then finish him with a Darcy. Darcy actually, you know, I think I think in, later on maybe you're going to get to see how good the Darcy really is. Uh, it really was good. So we got him low. Done a, does a lot of damage. Would I pick it as a first choice heavy? Uh, maybe not. I think it does more damage that, than... Obviously it's... it's uh, how much damage per shot done is based on its fire rate, and it can let off a lot more rounds than other uh, weapons in that in that class, i.e. the Whisper, because it's a heavy sniper. But uh, I think it does more damage, maybe, than an energy, I want to say. So the, there's always been calls for it to become an energy. Uh... And I think it does too much damage to really go into the energy slot. But it needs a little bit of work. So this section, what we're going to do is I'm just going to follow this left-hand lightning trail down. Now, once I get to the Exploder, I move forward a little bit so that my, my slide... I don't slide as soon as I see the Exploder. I just move past him a little bit, then I slide. Because if you do that... Uh, the slide takes you far enough away from him. You'll kind of aggro him. We'll do that kind of little shaky thing where he's getting ready to explode. If you wait till that happens, then slide, you'll be far far enough away that the explosion won't touch you. And then go into that little cubby hole I went into and you'll be fine. None of, none of the ads will, will come after you or shoot you. So the idea here is I'm just kind of pinging a couple of ads in no, no uh, precise order. It's the Exploders I was trying to get rid of so that I could pop my super. See, there's another Exploder. There he is. And then what we'll do is we'll pop our super and maybe be able to take some of these ads. So I'm just going to clear as many of the ads as I can. Now the champion shielded. So I'll dodge. And when he comes out of his shield, he's ours. Have we got enough to go after the Overload? Yes, we have. There we go. So that's the barrier and the overload taken, and we're back here. Now, we've got two more overloads. And we've got a grenade. You're always going to get these wretches. So we'll just take, try and take him. We'll get the grenade on him, so that's going to do big damage. It's, it's still crazy how much that does. This whole subclass on an arc bun is just mental. We want to stop him again. There we go. And then we'll get the finish because, like I say, why wouldn't you want to keep your heavy your heavy ammo stocked? Now, a dodge again just to build up uh, a bit of grenade energy. There we go, we've got more heavy. So now we need to stop this, this champion. He's up top. Now, what, what I was saying about the wretches is you will get consistent wretches. That's why I'm looking to the, the left. We've got the stun on him. I know that the wretches are going to be coming in soon. We've got... we, As you've seen there, I'm just going to kill these... These ads. It was unfortunate that the wretches came when they did. I'm just trying to get a dodge and get my dodge back should I need it. There he is. So I've went up top this time. Now, I've noticed that if you can go after... The Overload uh, uh, Champion... And you can get constant hits on him right after he teleports. It's easier to stop him. So, there we'll just get the finish. Those re the set another wave of wretches have come out. So, I jumped immediately so that they couldn't start attacking me from behind. And there we go. Easy money. We've got heavy. I'm just doing a scout, making sure I've got everything I need there. I've got full heavy. And obviously, you don't need primary because it's unlimited. 
So we'll move on to the next section. So 13 minutes in, just just over 13 minutes, and this is where we're, where we're at. It's the room before the boss. So when we get to this room, the first the first kind of problem is going to be the barrier. But, uh, you see these ads here? There's two of them. What I do is there's always ads, that, because the champion can't infinitely guard all the ads. Right? And when you hit the champion, he will always run away to start with. So I want to take out these guys, because they're unshielded, these uh, resilient marauders. There we go. We got So the, the two resilient mara vandals, not marauders, sorry, the two resilient vandals that we just took out, the thing about them is uh, they don't always... They don't always uh, get shielded by the by the the barrier. So if you can try and take them out, because the resilient vandals are the issue here. Champion can't hit you. you mate, you might you might get some uh, grenades getting thrown in, but apart from that, there is no real threat to you other than the vandals when you're there. So so if you can if you can at all focus them, then brilliant. So what we're doing here is I'm just trying to clear any. All, all the kind of latent ads, ads that can do damage to me while I'm trying to take out overloads. And then I decided, we'll give it a go. There's a couple of overloads here. Let's see what we can get done. There's an arc overload and two solar ones. I always like to get rid of the arc one first. I get another dodge. And it's, as you can see there, I dodged. And now he can't regenerate fast enough to stop me from killing him. That's two of them down. Uh... So now we'll just we'll stop the third one and get a bit heavy off him if we can. And that's what I was saying. I've noticed that when overloads dodge, if you can get them as soon as they appear, they're more susceptible to being stopped. So now we're, we're going to get the finish on him. The auto rifle is doing decent damage. So there we go. He's finishable. Jobs are good and full heavy. Now we're at the boss. So the boss, we are kind of do the same for most runs. Obviously... With using Arc Strider, I want to utilize that at the boss. So we are going to wait at the boss until we've got our super and then attack him with the with the super. But up till then, we're just going to go for the, you know, whittle him down. He's got a couple of immune stages, so we'll just get him into those as quickly as possible. Uh, the first two damage phases, we're going to be here. We're going to be on this side. and then as, So these are going to be while he's in his uh, solar uh, form and then after that we'll go over to where that other server is when he goes into his void form we'll be over there and then we'll when we get to that we'll speak about that but I'm, again i'm pretty sure you guys you'll understand the way this kind of works uh when he when he's in his uh his two solar forms he's a sniper when he's in his void form, he has basically got, like, Gatling guns. And then when he goes to his arc form, he just goes crazy and comes to try try to kill you with, uh, you know, lightning effects coming off him. So there's no range damage to be had. Now, you can see there, and that's what I'm saying, uh, the first couple of runs that I did, I, I was having to learn uh, the, the trajectory of the grenade. And as you can see, I... I didn't succeed because <laughs> that one just went right over him. So he's all you see there. His first health bar. He's got four health bars. Uh, his first health bar is gone. Now I'm just gonna go over here and pick up this heavy because you do burn through the heavy. You know, quite a, a decent pace. So now I'm just gonna take out any shanks. I can see heavy on the floor. Uh, you've got to be careful because if the boss gets aggroed, he will attack you even though he's in what we call, well, what I call the cocoon stage, where he's in his immunity. He will still attack you if you get too close. I was quite lucky here, because I did get close, and he didn't attack me, so I'm just going to break this barrier shield again, which which kind of immobilizes him. So I'll break his shield, and now I'm going to just do a quick run and grab some heavy. Be careful, don't get too close to that lightning, uh, because if you do, uh, it'll kill you. So now we'll break his shield again. And I'm just going to I'm just gonna see what the, the ball does. I've always got a major spec. Major spec on... Uh, uh, champions are considered by, by... In those terms as majors. So having a major spec means that I will... It will take me less shots 
to break his shield. So I've done enough damage there with the, the sniper. I'll just get it reloaded. I'll finish him with the bow. And now, as soon as you do that, boss is going to become active again. Now this time, you're also going to you're going to have the boss. Uh, you're going to have some shanks. And when they go, when the shanks go, you see there that the, the bow really made the... The grenade really made a difference. It does take such a track. I know that they reworked it, but I I was quite uh quite shocked at how much damage the flux grenade done. So I just just want. I think I'm gonna have to put another shot on him at least. There he goes. He's in his void form, and I think he got a little bit confused there. He didn't really have a clue what was going on. He's like, oh well, wait, a minute, I'm supposed to be shooting back here. <laughs> Too late. Damn it. Nearly had him. So when you get to this, you'll see, you'll have seen there, you'll see there, you get two exploders and you get two snipers. The exploders come from the front, snipers come from up top. Make sure you prioritize them because the exploders will come right up to where you are and the snipers now provide a threat from range. And because it's arc burn, it's a fatal threat. So it's not, I get, a, you know, I can tank a couple of these shots. You can't. The sniper can do massive one-hit damage. So, again, just picking up. I've got almost full. And if I can break his shield again, just stop him from regenerating from what we've already done. And now just keep putting some damage on him. So, that's the, the, that is the boss's first two solar phases, right? If you're in here in a fire team, where I was, you can have... There's two of those little boxes that you can get behind. You can have one person behind each of them. And that's kind of a pillar. You'll see me look over there. It's kind of a, a pillar just, just to the right. You see lightning going past it. Uh, again, just not getting used to the grenade. Uh, the, there's a pillar where the lightning goes past. It's just to the, just behind them. You can get some person. You can get somebody standing there. So you can have three people. Make sure you take the boss down as quickly as possible in between phases. Once you take the boss down, then then it's all good. Uh, but now this is where we're going to be. What I'm going to do is, just just for safety's sake, right, is I'm just going to get rid of all of the Exploder Shanks whilst putting a couple of, couple of shots in between on the boss. Now, what will happen is you'll see coming up, uh, we've got Ammo Finder, Deadly Reach, and then every now and again it will come up uh, uh, the, the Sabre or whatever his name is. Uh, calls him reinforcements as soon as he does that and nothing comes out then we know that we're, we're good and just make sure that you're you're keeping an eye on those explosives there the saber to summons reinforcements the minute that happens uh and and no ads come out no explosives come out then you're gold right now uh, like i say and i've said this before they are you will exhaust them you know, there will come a time. Uh, it doesn't take very long. Just looking, did I get the double kill on that? There's the four, there's always kind of four shanks that come out together. There will come a time where uh, the ads will stop coming out. And I think we might maybe have one more wave of ads. And then the plan is you make sure your heavy's reloaded. You've got your super grenade and all that. This might be the last wave of exploders. So where's the other two? Did we only get two? No, nope, there's one. And there's the last one. That might be the last wave. There we go. He's changed. So I'm just going to put a round of Darcy on him. Hit them with a grenade. And then I pop my super and then we go after him. Dodge before I hit him. Now, it just becomes a straight race. Because he's pulsing out arc damage. And I killed him before he could kill me. So, that's the run, guys. Uh, all forgotten weapons. All weapons that don't get, see a lot of usage within uh, Destiny 2 PvE as it stands at the moment. And Arc Strider, and I think you'll agree, it performed... I think in this it performed almost as good, if not better, in certain areas than Void 3.0. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Uh, I always appreciate the support. If you did enjoy the video, a like would be much appreciated. And if you do want to support the channel, you now have that way of doing it. Uh, thanks a lot, guys. Take it easy.
and I will see you guys in the next video.